Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mohammed Izzam from Sai Mehta Asset Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. As we have already seen hydraulics class one and hydraulics class two. If you haven't watched those videos, important questions in the first chapter of properties of fluid, guys, uh, go and watch those videos. I'll provide the link in the description. This is the hydraulics class three. But first of all, guys, let me give you one more time the same information about the notification of diploma, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, and triple E student for these aspirants. We are having a job that is assistant. Engineer job, junior technical officer job, diploma based job only. Already notification web notice. I mean, go watch. In and around some 800 posts are there, guys, for which you people are going to apply. Sir, diploma based government jobs under under the Telsana Vishma diploma government job, the best, the number one institute is Sai Medha Koti, Hyderabad. And you can take that up almost 25 years since you choose current like consecutively number of times state first rank in a civil branch mechanical branch triple e branch uh, number of times guys you can see 2022 2021 2020 19 18 17 16 guys if you see uh, number of maximum ranks was secured by sai medakoti hyderabad only top 10 of 6 ranks top 10 of 5 ranks top 10 of 8 ranks top 10 of 9 ranks and a diploma based government job diploma based government job coaching managu number one that is sai medakoti hyderabad all Already, man, go online and offline coaching batches has been uh, started, guys. AE notification raadam kante mundga ne man AE notification ki job ani the man coaching ani the start jaise system online coaching and as well as offline coaching for three branches. Civil, Mechanical and Tripoli. Okay. Civil, Mechanical, Tripoli branch wala ki online coaching and offline coaching and manago already Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad la start type in. Observe here guys. Online coaching vishya ni koste. First of all, me game was sir and digitally recorded video classes. I am talking about both technical and as well as non-technical. And you got a very institute slow. Chala institute slow in jaru dhan and non-technical but Telangana movement gao chou, Telangana policies gao chou, history, geography, aptitude, reasoning. Last game just sir and some Saturday Sunday classes gao vati. Kani like the last to 10-15 days to complete jesha sir mudam syllabus. Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad at Lagadu. Daily, daily offline classes low. Daily, guys. You got a session two low technical Jerusalem and session three low non technical and a half day, half day student. 9 30 to 1, 2 to 6. And a half day technical, half day non technical. Session two low technical and a session three low non technical. Session three low Marago non technical and a session two low non technical. And technical part, engineering part, and as well as non technical part is also being every day. Every day we are getting what a class, guys. Class could have cut a Class could have class to part two. Class ki a topic ki someone in China bit explanation bit explanation. I penata the class to revision through the other topic with a china exam conduct jaram jarutari. So even then offline classes mana classes run out to name online classes. We shall go stay prati recorded prati topic wise man digitally recorded video classes on a through the other topic is someone in China previous bits mana go self test live test mock test and grand test examination are also going to be conducted in the sign with the Koti Hyderabad app itself, guys. Okay, so man online coaching offline coaching already start type. So as soon as possible. Then you can Malay jobtu na. Okay, job man gravali government job gravali ante notification hai toh chesi ni man. Chala man di atla ante y notification karu a y notification sir 800 posts. Ippar work atla ante chala man di wait jese wal. Kani ippar notification man chet lo ani. Already notification achina tarata. Ippar gora preparation start jee pote tarata man ko y aakash mastu to rado ko sukachche thanga my dear students y opportunity ni utilize jees korni. We are there with you. Sai me the koti Hyderabad has every year. Proved that uh, Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad is the number one institute for the diploma based government jobs. So, Kachitanga, Mana uh, app, gaani, uh, Mana offline coaching, gaani, join Avandi and start your preparation with Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad. And definitely within this first attempt itself, guys, you can crack the government job, your dream job. Okay, Chalo, Mana Hydrologist class 3, put Mana start Jedam. Observe the question given over the board. Question given is consider a hollow hemispherical object of diameter d. This is a hollow hemispherical of diameter d. Hemisphere is full sphere. Sphere is a full sphere. Hemisphere is what? We need to talk about only half of it. This is a hemisphere. Okay. Hemisphere. Immerged in a liquid of specific weight w. This is immersed in a liquid of specific weight w. With its plane surface coinciding with the free surface. This is the plane surface. This is the plane surface which is coinciding with the free surface. Okay, continue. The vertical component of force on the curved surface would be what is the vertical component of the force which is going to act on the curved surface? Remember, for this we need to talk about first of all buoyancy and flotation concept over the curved surfaces, or we can call it as a uh, 
because rather than buoyancy we can think this is a type of question which is common question in a, uh, when the body is uh, subjected to total pressure hydrostatics ok. You can write this concept is related to hydrostatics. So, whenever a curved summer curved surface is immerged inside the water let us say this is the curved surface it will be subjected to total pressure total pressure total pressure is a force actually. It will be having two component of forces one is horizontal component of force one is vertical component of force. This vertical component of the force is none other than weight of liquid weight of liquid from curved surface from curved surface to free surface from curved surface to free surface. So, this is your answer ok. So, vertical component of the force is what he is asking you to find out. Vertical component of force is what? Weight of the liquid from curved surface to free surface. So, this is the curved surface, this is the free surface. So, what is the weight of the water in a hemisphere? That is what he is asking there. This is the hemisphere inside which you are having certain water assumed from the curved surface to free surface. That is the vertical component. So, vertical component is equal to weight of the water. Weight formula mass into gravity. You can just pause the video guys and try this problem on your own ok. I will give just move aside so that you can see the question and try to do it on your own by just pausing the video ok. Try this question ok. Now observe let us try and solve the problem uh, vertical force is equal to weight, weight is equal to mass times gravity. Mass formula density into volume into gravity as it is mass formula is density into volume. What is the volume of a hemisphere formula? Volume is equals to total volume is equals to we know volume of a sphere formula is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Volume of a sphere. Volume of hemisphere formula will be half of this now. Half of 4 by 3 pi into r cube. 1, 2 times 2 by 3 pi into r cube. Okay. So, here we can write now density into 2 by 3 pi r cube into g. We know that rho and g is the formula for specific weight. Specific weight formula is rho g. Observe how many formulas I am giving by simple one problem here. Okay. Weight is equal to specific weight is equal to specific weight is equal to rho g. This is specific weight. Specific weight w is equal to rho g. So, in the place of rho g, we can replace it with what? A w. 2 by 3 as it is, pi as it is, r cube equal to. In the question, all the options are given in the diameter. So, we need to change the radius into diameter. Radius is how many times diameter? d by 2, d by 2 whole cube, d by 2 whole cube is going to become d cube by 8. So, 2 1s are 2 4s are 4 3s are 12. So, what is the answer you are going to get at last? 1 by 12 w pi d cube is going to be your answer. 1 by 12 w pi d cube. Which of the following is going to be the correct answer now? 1 by 12 w pi d cube is the correct answer. So, what is the concept from this question that we have learned? Whenever a curved surface is immersed inside the water, it will be subjected to total pressure. Total pressure will be having two component of forces. One is horizontal component, one is vertical component. This vertical component is equal to weight of the liquid from curved surface to free surface. This is what we need to understand. Okay. Horizontal force formula will be gamma into A into H bar. This we have, uh, we are going to see in the in detail in the video lectures guys. Okay. So, this is all about this question concept. Chalo, pause the video and note it down. Question given is a 25 centimeter long prismatic solid floats. 25 centimeter, let us say this is 25 centimeter. Solid floats in water with its vertical floats in a water with a vertical 10 centimeter projecting above the water surface. 10 centimeter means 15 centimeter it is inside, 10 centimeter it is outside. What do we require in this type of problem? 15 which is inside, ok. It is water. Let us continue the question. If the same solid floats in some oil with its axis vertical and 5 centimeter projecting above the 5 centimeter projecting above the liquid surface. That means it is going somewhat inside, much inside, ok. When it is going to be given inside the oil, let us say this one is oil now, oil. How much it is inside? It is going to be, it is going to be around 
only 5 centimeter outside means 20 centimeter it is inside ok. This is oil and water, weight of the solid body is always remaining constant, weight, weight of body is same, weight of body is always same, constant value, it is not changing. But what changes, change is the vertical force which is going to be acting in the upward direction due to the type of the fluid that is force of buoyancy, force of buoyancy, force of buoyancy in water, force of buoyancy in oil of buoyancy in oil. These are going to be having what are now different values. That is why what is going to be happening? It is going to be moving down more, it is going to be moving down less. But at last both of them are going to be satisfying for the same body. So, what I can write here? Weight of body is same, weight is equals to same. Force of buoyancy is equals to force of buoyancy of a oil. Okay. In both the cases, actually the total force is same that is why the body is floating. But how much floating inside, how much floating outside, it is going to be somewhat differ based on the density difference. Okay. So, force of buoyancy with respect to water and force of buoyancy with respect to oil. This force of buoyancy will be equal to amount of liquid displaced, amount of liquid displaced. This is the amount of liquid displaced. This is the amount of liquid displaced. Its weight we need to take into account. Okay. Its weight. So, what I can write here? Weight is equals to weight, weight of displaced volume, we are talking about weight of volume displaced, okay, displaced. Weight formula is mass into gravity, mass into gravity equal to mass into gravity, gravity, gravity cancel, mass of the water and mass of the oil, okay. Mass formula density into volume now, density into volume, area is same in both the case, but only difference is height, this is H1, this one is H2. So, what we can write here in the place of volume, we can write area into H1, area into H2. This area, area gets cancelled. This is density of water, this is density of oil. Divided by density standard, divided by density standard. Density by density standard is the formula for specific gravity. Density of any fluid divided by density of standard, it is called a specific gravity. So, at last the formula is S1 H1 is equals to S2 H2, S1 H1 is equals to S2 H2. This is the formula that we need to memorize when two different fluids are given and uh, given with respect to heights. We need to change the one height in terms of another corresponding heights, change the specific gravity in terms of one fluid into another fluid. So, here I can write specific gravity of water, height of water immersed is equals to specific gravity of oil, height of body immersed in oil. Okay. Immersion height you need to take, immersed height. This is the keyword, immersed height or depth we need to talk about. Because if this is 20, this is 5, this is 15, this is another 10. So, immersed height one gaol. Specific gravity of water is 1, height of water immersed is 15. Specific gravity of oil is our question. Specific gravity of oil is the question. Uh, height of oil is how much? 20. So, what we can write here? 5 3s are 5 4s are 3 by 4. S0 is equals to 3 by 4. 3 by 4 is how much? 0 0.75. This type of question you can solve very easily when you memorize the formula S1 H1 equal to S2 H2. And H1 H2 are which heights uh, projected upward na, proje, which are there immersed inside now? Immersed. Immersed height we need to talk about. Okay. So, what is the correct answer now? 0 0.75. Which of the following is going to give you the 0 0.75? Option C. Okay. This is also a question of what buoyancy and a flotation concept. Okay. So, pause the video and note it down.